What should I do if someone faints? Try to prevent him or her from getting hurt when falling. Put the patient in the recovery position on a bed or the floor. He or she should wake up within a few seconds. If it doesn't look like a normal fainting spell or the person appears seriously ill, call an ambulance immediately. The number for ER24 is 084124. I've burnt my hand on the stove. Should I go to the hospital? First aid is the most important first step. Keep your hand under clean, cool running water for 15 to 20 minutes, even if there's no blistering. This will prevent further damage to the deep skin. If there are many blisters or you are experiencing unbearable pain, you should consider going to the hospital for further assessment. How do I help someone who appears to be choking? If the person is coughing or is able to speak, let him or her settle down without interfering. Take him or her to the nearest doctor or hospital if the problem persists. If he or she can't speak because of an obstructed airway or shows signs that they are choking, then you can attempt the Heimlich maneuver on an adult or back slaps and chest thrusts on a small child. How deep should a cut be before I seek treatment? Even minor cuts can become infected. Clean them with a lot of tap water. If the wound is gaping, even a little bit, or won't stop bleeding after three minutes of direct pressure, then you should seek medical advice. Take special care with wounds on the face and hands in case of nerve, tendon or vessel damage. If I suspect a child has ingested a poisonous substance, how should I react? Stay calm, don't induce vomiting or give the patient anything to drink before consulting with a healthcare provider. You can take your child to the nearest emergency center for an examination and further treatment if he or she looks ill. Take the container along to help identify the suspected poisonous substance.